My name is uh, Dr. John Tharaja. I'm board certified in internal medicine. I'm also board certified in uh, geriatric medicine as well. And in all adults, the presentation can be quite different. And usually the presentation for COVID-19 are the typical symptoms you've read about or you've, uh, you've uh, seen in different media outlets would be fever, shortness of breath, and the dry cough. Uh, it can be also other symptoms as well, such as headache, sore throat, or uh, muscle pains as well. But these are the typical presentations of COVID-19. However, in older adults, the presentation can be quite uh, different, and you have to have a higher index of suspicion that something might be going on in older adults, and this makes the diagnosis more complicated and makes also the treatment more uh, complicated as well because the diagnosis might, can be delayed. What what adds to the complexity is that all adults have other comorbid illnesses or chronic illnesses as well. So they might also have hypertension, uh, diabetes, or COPD, um, asthma. So this can be also a presenting symptom of these other various uh, diseases which are chronic illnesses as well and that might make the differential diagnosis um, uh, more difficult. So I'm going to go through 10 atypical presentations in the old adult and this is in no particular order and I'll start with symptom number one. So symptom number one would be loss of appetite and just a loss of appetite in an old adult should have a high index of suspicion that something might be going on and um, loss of appetite coupled with decreased fluid intake might lead to other problems because because of decreased fluid intake and decreased uh, appetite they become more tired, fatigued, even exhausted, are more likely to be uh, immobilized, uh, functionally less active, and more likely to get falls. Presenting symptoms, so this is uh, symptom number two, would be increased confusion, uh, disorientation, even um, apathy. And uh, the medical term for this is delirium. A delirium, as we know uh, medically, is a confusion and there are different types of delirium in terms of how old adults can present themselves. And they are something which we refer to as apathetic delirium and also as hyperactive delirium as well. So the hyperactive delirium is probably more easier to diagnose and especially when the older adult is acting up when they become more agitated or more, uh, more of a disorientation. You go, oh, there's something going on uh, in this frail older adult, which uh, we have to investigate it. And uh, obviously right now in the times we live in, we have to think of COVID-19. What is a bit more difficult to diagnose is the other type of delirium called apathetic uh, delirium, where the older adult becomes more withdrawn, more lethargic, more uh, sleepy, and they might even end up um, not talking at all. And the reason for this delirium is because there are chemical changes going on uh, in your body, the chemical changes going on in your brain, and thus uh, causing this uh, this confusion. And the, the way to see this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking to you guys on television and you can hear my voice, you can hear the tone of my voice, but if now I'm, you know, I'm I'm snapping my finger and I, you can still hear my, the, the tone of my voice and you can still hear me uh, snapping my finger and I can differentiate the snapping of my finger as well as uh, the tone of a voice or the indentation of my voice. However, in older adults, when they are in a delirium, they are in a fog-like state. And because they are in a fog-like state, they become more confused and they're not able to filter out information coming to their brain, become more confused and more uh, disorientated. Uh, another uh, symptom, and I already mentioned this uh, earlier on, would be a complete exhaustion, fatigue, uh, lethargy. They're not getting out of bed. They are uh, completely tired. And this change of behavior should uh, send a sort of uh, a high index of suspicion, especially in places where they live, in senior communities, assisted living facilities, in PACE programs, or in nursing homes. I um, already um, uh, alluded to 
the um, the next symptom, which would be a dizziness. And dizziness in older adults presents quite differently. Usually there are longer spells of uh, dizziness coupled with falls, and falls would be another symptom to uh, think about where they suddenly start falling, and obviously if there are increased falls, they increase uh, chances of hurting themselves, and God forbid, also breaking their bones. Another presenting symptom would be GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, and uh, diarrhea. And, um, and this is associated because there are certain receptors in the GI tract called ACE2 receptors where the virus can invade, and that can be the only presenting symptoms coupled with uh, abdominal pain. Another presenting symptom would be low blood pressure, and this is probably associated with the overwhelming infection of the disease, and also uh, probably a sign that there is sepsis uh, going on, and the older adult is unable to mount an, uh, an adequate uh, immune response. Um, uh, another, uh, another unusual uh, presenting symptom, which you can also see in other age groups as well, would be loss of smell as well as a loss of a taste. And neurologists think that the, um, the taste neurons uh, to the brain, as well as the smell neurons uh, to the brain, is somehow affected uh, by this virus, and that's why there's loss of smell and a loss of taste. Uh, another symptom in older adults is they do not mount a fever. And one of the reasons is that the temperature regulation in older adults is altered. And usually uh, temperature in COVID-19 is uh, um, a temperature of 100 Point four above, but in the old adult, there might be no temperature. That means no fever or just uh, a low grade temperature around 99.5 Fahrenheit. And one of the reasons that we have these atypical presentations in older adults is because the immune response in older adults is blunted. This is a short presentation of atypical presentations in old adults. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next video.